Howdy folks, Nathan Adlin here with Roman Micah, Andre Shmanoff, and Mr. Truck Kent. And we're doing the Gold Hitch Awards for SUVs. That's right, we're actually putting this together as something that best SUVs for towing up a hill with a frame, we're going to vote on it. And what we're going to do is, you're watching this now, but this actually took place before the Gold Hitch Awards. So there you go, you get to see how we voted on them. So here are the contenders. The Yukon XL, the Infiniti QX80, the Lincoln Navigator, and the Lexus LX570. Yep, these are all the contenders, and they're all the ones that we've taken up the iGauntlet. Uh, there are other vehicles that we could have in this class, but we didn't take them up the iGauntlet, so those are the ones that we were able to take. And, uh, you know, I think it's important to talk about the fact that in the perfect world, we'd love to have, like, the exact same load, the exact same axle ratio, but it just doesn't happen, right? So we do our best, uh, but we can't make apples-apples apples comparison. Having said that, each of us uh, has a good idea of these trucks, and we are calling them trucks because they're basically trucks. They're basically trucks, trucks, trucks full size, full size, yeah, full -size right. trucks. And the way we're going to do this is we're going to do a, a simple bracket elimination. This being uh, just past March Madness, <laughs> <laughs> and so uh, we're going to write down which one we would eliminate first, and let's just go right to it, guys. Let's okay, eliminate one. Let's eliminate. And in the case of a tie, I don't vote. We'll end up with uh, one that wins. Okay. Thank you. There we go. Let's see what we got here. And this is real time, you know, you, we're not, this is not, Whoa. you know, staged. No, we have all the information on our board over there, but we've also driven the vehicles and we have some other information. The point is, is that these are vehicles we've driven, these are vehicles we've tested, and they've all gone up the Ike Gauntlet. All right, we've just eliminated the very first one, uh, and that is um, the Lexus LX570, uh, which uh, went up the hill in 743, got 3.8 mpg, but maybe this is why we eliminated only towed 6,100 pounds. Let's talk and, about and that. And why did it tow only 6,100 pounds? Because it had a lower maximum towing capability. So we, we wanted to pick a weight that we can keep consistent across all SUVs, right? Right. But the Lexus LX was only rated at 7,000 towing. So, so we had to use less weight. So why did you eliminate it, Andre? I eliminated it because, uh, first of all, we were, Kent and I were underneath the truck installing the, uh, the trailer wiring <laughs> hookup, yes. so it didn't, didn't come, come from the factory. Right, yeah. And it also doesn't have a trailer brake controller, which I think in my mind is one of the things that are important. Um, and it wasn't as high rated for towing, and then this is a full-size SUV, and yeah. that's why uh, it's gone. Okay. Right, Andre is very correct on that. It, it, it lacked a lot of the things that would make it a winner in a towing class. And since this is about towing, uh, just because it has a body on frame, that's great for the hitch and all, but when your capacity goes down to 6,100 pounds, and I didn't understand why, the engine had enough horsepower, you had enough axle ratio, I couldn't see why they rated it so low, but that's their choice. I mean, it's a great luxury vehicle, but it's, I don't think it's a towing machine. It's certainly not one that my first choice for pulling a trailer. I'm with Kent and with Andre, and the bottom line is that, I mean, it can only tow so much. And on top of that, you're thinking about a vehicle that is extremely heavy because of the 4x4 gear that's on it, yet the other vehicles that competed are also 4x4s. All right, they're all wrong. That would be my pick for the Gold Hitch Award. <laughs> Seriously, you guys are all wrong. I'll okay. tell you why. Okay. I'll make my case. Go ahead. That was my favorite truck. Okay, so it didn't tow the most. But first of all, that 5.7 is just an incredible engine. It's the same engine that's in the Tundra. It is a monster. It is bulletproof. It is powerful. I don't know why it's only rated at 6,100, but I love that fact that you yeah. can, and I know this is not the Gold Hitch Award. I know that um, you know, this is about the best towing truck in the land, but I love the fact that in the LX you combine a vehicle that can go off-road and can tow. And when you take those two together, right, you take something that is incredibly off-road worthy, like a Land Cruiser off-road worthy, and then you can take, you know, a 6100 whatever boat and oh, tow yeah. it, or a horse trailer, let's say you're one of those horse people, right, Kent? <laughs> yes, yes. So that, that would have been my choice. I'm bummed, but um, it is what it is. Let's go to the next one, guys. Okay. All right, eliminate. Thank you. Thank you. 
It's going to be unanimous. Yeah. <laughs> it's yeah. Unanimous. Uh, is it unanimous? <laughs> yes. Oh. Uh, the next eliminated vehicle is the Infinity QX80, the Happy Hippo, as I like to call it. <laughs> nice have a look. Nathan, All right, Nathan. Andre, you start. I mean, uh, Nathan, you start. Why'd you eliminate it? Oh, me? Yeah. You start. Okay. Yeah. Um, Okay, there, there's there's two things with the QX80. I really wish they didn't even call it a QX80. It's so confusing, but that's a whole another story. It did the load, and it did it well. The engine's great, but if I recall, it was noisy because it had to scream in order to get up the hill, and it was a little squirrely, and I didn't like the feeling of it. I remember doing that run and feeling a little uneasy about the way it handled. Not that it was bad, but that compared to the other vehicles, it wasn't quite as good. Okay. Yeah, you're right on that. The uh, it had that independent rear suspension, and even with weight distributing hitch, it did move around 70 miles an hour. It got really weird, so I didn't feel like a confident towing vehicle. And the air suspension on it, which I like to level out trader, but it's very slow. You oh, can just sit there yeah. and, and watch the grass grow next to it. It was, it was terrible <laughs> in that. And the, the look of it, I, I, it's going to take me a while to really understand the outside look. I like the interior really well, but the outside just I don't understand it. It's just. Andrew? Um, well, for the times, if we looked at the data as well, it did eight, minute, eight minutes and 11 seconds, yeah. which it was, was a little bit slower. By far. It, yeah. it was slower than the, the, the other in the category. And if I remember going down the hill, it, it seemed like it was overheating its brakes a little bit too. And we had the trailer hooked up, you know, trailer braking was set up. Um, so I didn't feel it, it was the best vehicle because it had a little bit of an issue braking going down the hill and it was the slowest. And keep in mind folks, this is a fully loaded vehicle in terms of the amount of weight we, are, we put there. Yeah. I mean, if you tow... Extreme test. Yeah. This yeah, is an extreme yeah, test. Extreme. Right. If you towed with a regular load, a basic load, 5,000 pounds, it would tow like a dream. But we really loaded it, so I don't recommend doing that with the QX80. All right, guys, we're down to the winner of this. So eliminate one more and we should have the winner. Uh, and before we, of course, talk about the winner, after we eliminate him, we'll, um, we'll first talk about the uh, second place truck. So what do we got here? Okay. <coughs> and let's see here. Oh, my God, that's unanimous. Again? <laughs> again. Oh, my, oh my God, yeah. And the best towing SUV truck in the land, ladies and gentlemen, is the Yukon XL. All right. We just okay. eliminated the uh, Navigator. Why did you eliminate it, Andre? So the Navigator, so it has a lot of goods and some some bad about it. So what I liked, obviously the power. So the turbocharged V6. Oh, it, it, was, up the hill. it was the fastest. It was the fastest seven and a half minutes. Yeah. Yeah. Um, it was pulling up. It was only eleven seconds behind the Yukon. R right. Oh, it's not in not in not that far off. And it wasn't the most efficient. Actually, it did a 3.6 mpg. Yeah, um, but it, when I was looking at the setup, you know, and we always try to get the trucks level with the trailer, it squatted a little bit more than I thought, but it rode really nice. Yeah, and it was Remember, quiet too. It was quiet, it was comfortable in there. Um, it didn't have a brake controller, which was strange in my opinion. This, we were towing almost 8,000 pounds, and you know, there's no standard brake controller on, on the SUV. So, Kent, why'd you eliminate it? Well, it seemed more like a car that did a truck. I mean, it was nice and quiet, it, it really a refined vehicle, but I don't know. I mean, I know it towed well. It just didn't seem like it was moving fast when it was moving faster than it felt like. But uh, you know, the, I'm a big fan of the EcoBoost, but it's it's just uh, it's too much like a car. I, I, <laughs> you want a truck? You I want, want a, a truck? truck. It's, yeah, it's more like a minivan than it is a truck. But that's my opinion. Nathan. As a day-to-day -day driver, it's hard to beat. It's quality. The engine's excellent. Transmission shifted very well. It did great. However. It did not feel like a proper tow vehicle the way the GMC did. And at the end of it, just between the two, I mean, it's cutting hairs because it was really good, but the GMC was better. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I agree. Uh, the reason I think we all chose the GMC was because it was the most truck-like of these uh, SUV-like trucks, right? It felt like you were behind the wheel of a truck. And, and it, that's important because a truck is built to tow. A truck gives you confidence. It gives you good braking. It gives you good, good acceleration. It's stable when you're towing. And out of all those, the Yukon felt the most truck-like with all those great characteristics. Would you agree, Andre? Yeah, absolutely. absolutely. So I guess it was, we can it was just the most efficient too. Yeah, absolutely. Yeah, yeah no, you can't beat the eight-speed automatic. So GMC, congratulations on winning Gold Hitch Award for your SUV. Well done. That is not an easy test and you guys did really well and you built a hell of a good truck.
Yeah, and you know, it's yeah. pretty amazing that we're congratulating them for a 4.1 MPG. <laughs> I know, 4.1 miles per gallon, but it was the yeah, best yeah, MPG that's... up the hill under load. Right. And that is another thing that's huge. I mean, think about towing heavy things. But anyway, once again, congratulations. Thanks for watching, guys. We're going to move on to the next one coming up soon. Take care. Thank you.